Have you seen here that they do beer by the pitcher? Don't be surprised. I am surprised because you're not normally P1. That's a very good question. <laughs> I thank you very much for entering into our segue. Um, uh, this is for the Tom Ingram 24 7 series. Wow. Oh, Approach Unfortunately, due to Motorsport UK guidelines, regulations and restrictions, I can't divulge what happens in the course of up there. There's a man with a camera everywhere I go, even when I go to the toilet. It's a job, isn't it? Oh, I want to win. Ah, oh, well, today uh, we are not at a race circuit. We are, really? we are far, we are about as far from a race circuit as we can physically get. Um, we're, at, we're, at, we're at cricket today, we're at the cricket. I can see. We're at the cricket. Um, we're at Old Albania Cricket Club. I don't know why I'm waving my pass <laughs> at you. Uh, Old Albania Cricket Club. Uh, it's a charity cricket match versus the club here and the Lashings World Eleven which is very, very cool. There are some international cricket legends here. I'm not a, I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a big follower of cricket. However, you have informed me there are, there are act, some actual so, legends, yeah. like proper Pro legends. Proper. Um, so it's gonna be a good day. We've got food, we've got beer, yes. um, and we've got fun and frolics to Ooh, be, so to be taken. Oh yeah, the cars here. Um, <laughs> I should probably have said that quite early on. Kaze. So um, basically how, it, how this has all worked out is yeah. that um, Accelerate are a sponsor of the event. So the shirts, we can't see any around at the moment, yeah. um, will have Accelerate Motorsport yeah. on them. Um, and the link for here is Simon Bates, who is S2M, S2M. just here, who's yeah. um, been a, 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 long, a long supporter of, of, of mine. Um, is involved in the club, has put it all together, has put the event on and said, would you be able to bring the car along and drink some beer? And I said, yeah, I could do that. I can probably manage such a task. <laughs> uh, we will be asking you to sit down. Oh, he was a drummer. Tell us all about him. Please sit down. Whoever did he play for? Very well respected. Very well respected. Very well respected. Carlton Barrett, if you're still, if you are playing the drums, please stay standing. Oh, the guitarist for sit down. We have been whining and dining. Uh, yeah, there's been a charity auction. Uh, the food, I must say, the food has been fantastic. Have you seen here that they do beer by the pitcher? Yes. Come here, come here, come here. Look on this table. That is a pitcher. Not a pitcher snap, but a pitcher of lager. It's a big lager. That's a, that is a, that is a mega pint. That is a did you buy anything at the auction? No, there was a few bits and pieces that I looked at. Um, I, there was one thing I did bid on. There was VIP tickets to a British touring car race with Accelerate. Nice. I bid on that. That'd be a cool experience. Yeah, I bid on that. Um, didn't quite win it, unfortunately. Got a little too expensive for me. 15 quid, I don't want to go any more than that. Okay, so this is 
the Goodwood Festival of Speed. If you like cars, if you like bikes, if you like noisy things, if you like tyre smoke, if you like loud music and loud stuff, this is where you come. It's fantastic. It's a great place to come along to. Um, I'm here with QuickFit. We're down here on the QuickFit stand, title sponsor of the British Touring Car Championship. Uh, we've got a selection of cars on show, the best one obviously being that one over there. Um, and I'm, I'm signing anything. Anything that sits still for long enough, it gets signed. Apart from checks, I don't sign checks. Um, so that's what we're up to. We're having a lovely time. The weather is a bit... It's British summer. But we're having a lovely time. Good morning. How are you? Are you okay? And to you? 24-7 is amazing. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, thank you. Instruction and entertainment. Thank you very much indeed. We've... Um, I think it works because we've got the Thursday after the race weekend, we can, we're sort of straight out there with it. So it feels relevant as well. Yeah, so so doing some simulator stuff now. So we've got, um, twice a day, we come down here on the quick fit stand and we do some lap time stuff. So there's a little leaderboard just over there, which you can see that we, hopefully, we should be at the top in theory however driving on a simulator can be a little bit difficult to real life so we should be towards the top end but we shall we shall see well it's caught me off guard as much as it has you um the first time i've seen it is as we turn out the garage so yeah these um the circuits are crazy accurate now so they laser scan all the circuits so they're about as close as you're ever going to get them from a uh, from reality so it's really interesting to see because we all know the little bits and pieces in reality that make the difference um, so you try to, where possible, see if you can put that into practice today when we get onto the, uh, once we get onto these. Um, but it, like I say, this is on R Factor 2, so all of the cars are the same cars that we, uh, that we use. So the interiors on them look absolutely fantastic. When you see an external shot, um, they look exactly as they, do, uh, they, as they do in the flesh. So it's as close as, we, uh, it's as, close as you're going to get to reality, really. Don't be so surprised. I am surprised, because you're not normally P1. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, I mean, the car's got to rotate at some point, otherwise you're just going to... Yeah, it hasn't it's updated. So oh, okay. uh, that would have been a 34 dead, just saying, oh. looks something predictive. Ah, oh, very good, you see. <laughs> got beaten by a napper again, didn't I? I don't know what he's supposed to do, but he seems to be dancing. Oh, are you aware this is being filmed? Is that, is that, is it... Everything everything gets filmed now, you see. Everything is, is filmed. This 24 7? For, this is filmed for 24 7, you see. Oh, really? So, congratulations, You're not tell Lance. Me I'm going to be on you have, you oh, have I, made I, the cut. I have arrived. That's it. My, my, my he's life, made the cut. My you watch it, though, don't you? I do. Yeah, we were talking about it this morning, earlier, weren't we, James? James. We were talking about 24-7, weren't we? Yes, yes uh, we were, yes. You've watched a few, haven't I've you? I've watched them all, yeah. Yeah, very good. See, well, they, you, you've now made the effort, you've made, now made the effort to make the cut, you're in it. As Lance says, we have arrived, haven't we? You have, you have now, you have arrived. This is mental, look at the size of this. Bear in mind, this is here just for Goodwood. That's what I find utterly outstanding. It's not a permanent building, it's literally here just for Goodwood, and then it gets taken down. Outrageous. How much have you spoken about racing, you two? Not too have much. You, have you annoyed him? No, not too much this time. Not too much. I've been, I've been acutely aware of not pissing Spencer off too much this really? time. Because over winter I was aware that I was phoning Spencer three to four times a day, which was probably a little much. And Spencer's been deep into sensible grown-up stuff like laying patios and doing cool stuff at the house. And also doing things like seeing his family. So I thought, so hold on. I thought I'd just. So he said not too much. I think last time he said it was like, offer you, your words were four or five times a day. Just left me alone. I thought I'd done something to annoy me. I hadn't heard from him for know, four, so three or four days. I thought it really pissed him off. Really? Yeah. Also, I wanted to ask you, um, no summer test this year. No, that's annoying a sore, or not annoying. Annoying. It's a sore, sore point that is. 
Is yeah. it? Everyone was so busy when they were with Goodwood and, right. and all the rest of it and rebuilding cars and bits like that. So no, we didn't get a chance to do it, which is is annoying. A bit annoying. Yeah. But same for everyone, right? Yeah, so it's just others are, are more settled with their base setup, and maybe we haven't quite had as long as others to right. fine tune it. We still have got a list of things to try and get through. Mm. Trying to get through those things on a race weekend is tough because you're testing in a race scenario, so we yeah. don't really want to be going down that route if we don't have to. Uh, so it would have been nice to do a day or two of yeah. trying the things that we think will make it quicker, but just can't be 100%. And do we, is, well, always gives me the same answer. Do you care about the table at the moment? Or you're looking yeah, at the table? As long as we're close, you know, we're, we're within 10 points, that's the, you know, that's the target every, yeah. after every round. So we should be, should be good here, I think. Should, should be, be quick. All right. okay. No, I'm not going to say anything now. You may be all embarrassed. So Max is racing this weekend in a Cortina. Very cool, very cool, I must say. So it's a Max. Max and Tom are racing on the same race weekend. Max in a 14, and Tom in his Hyundai. Some of these things are just cool, aren't they? I like the old, the old historic stuff. Oh, good morning. You all right? Okay. I've got porridge. But we're just waiting for the for the honey to become less of a. Well, the honey's turned into effectively butter. Whoa! <laughs> that always happens to me, sorry. The trouble is I don't know how much to do now. I'm panicked, I'm all under, I'm all at sorts. I've decided that that's enough. That's enough, that's enough. Look at this, the sun has come out. Beautiful weather. Hey, Zach, good news. I've lost another kilo from the start of the year. Have you? Yeah, man. Thank you. Oh, whack them off. 88, 88 kilos. Hey, look at this. Did you see this? Oh, my word. Right? Is that not the cutest? Oh, my gosh, I nearly fell off the dance floor. Have you seen this, look? Dance floor. Very fancy, very fancy. That's a Steve Ryder over there, look. So we're fully briefed. We've had our driver's briefing. Um, uh, not particularly, we're talking about uh, track limits, uh, where they're gonna be monitoring those, a couple of sort of pre-telling offs of what to do and what not to do. <laughs> That's a very good question. I thank you very much for entering into our segue. Um, uh, this is for the Tom Ingram 24-7 series, which if you haven't seen it, is the single greatest YouTube documentary series that has ever been created, ever. Um, are you enjoying it? I think you are. Well, I've kind of got to say that because currently Zach is stood just to my right hand side at my three o'clock with a camera. He's probably only about two foot away. It was within punching distance. If I were to say, no, I hate it, I'd be punched in the side of the head. I love it. Of course you love I it. Joke, joke, and, joke. and it's very successful as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, um, yeah honestly, we're, we're, we're doing sort of five or six million views or an episode and YouTube, honestly. We're, what? We're, yeah, yeah, six million views an episode. <laughs> what? Um, last, la uh, it's incredible, really. Last the wonderful thing about you, you never exaggerate anything. No, 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 and la la honestly, I got my first check from YouTube, <laughs> 7.6 million pounds, so. <laughs> Logan Paul, I'm challenging you to a boxing match. Oh, you are silly. Kieran's, Kieran's giving you the, what? Kieran's Kieran. giving you the. Get out the way. Get out the way. Not get out the way, get out the way. Uh, fantastic. Thanks, mate. No, brilliant. 
highlight of the weekend is free practice one. Yeah, yeah, it's where the big points are. So. We've won FP1. I think I tell you what, it'd be worth having a look because I reckon we are the current FP1 champions because I think we've been we've certainly been up there in every single FP1 this year. Marvelous. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to go for a tingum tinkle now. Yeah. A tingum. A ting. No, it doesn't work. I'm just going to go for a wee. Yeah, go for a wee. And a, and have a banana. Oh. Not at the same time. No. That'd be weird. That'd be really. We want to get that. Be out there. Good luck in FP2 and stuff. Thank you and things. Thanks. I saw a spit going into Barcroft, and Barry's like, I'll get the new new sauce ready for you. I was like, don't, don't no, no, no. I said it will be a waste. No, we, it was really weird on mine. As I came out of tower, I was like three tenths up. Yeah. Came out of tower, and on my dash came up the slippery surface flag. And I was like, oh, that is absolutely sending it down. Someone's gone off at Barcroft. So I thought, either way, so I thought, I'll bring it back. And then no one was off, there was no rain. I was like, oh. So I've just wasted that sector. That so then you get going again. So rather than going in like red hot, you just come in yeah, steady. Like and, oh, okay. and then it's like a 22 1. You know, you're like, come on, man. Was there really, um, uh, there's no reason for there to be a slippery surface flag. I just thought we'd keep dashboard, mate. I just where I'm going. Why are you It's a first for me. Everything's, everything's new, isn't it? It's for me fantastic espresso, no? It's a grazie. Grazie ragazzi. How are you? That nice. is marvellous. Look at all that. Super and duper. So group one is going to kick us off. Josh Cook, Tom Ingram, Dan Robottom, Rob Huff, Jake Hill, Ash Sutton, Mikey Doval, Aidan Moffat, Daryl DeLeon, Nick Halstead. Those are the ten that will be in that first group. There's confirmation. Tom Ingram is heading to the timing line. So Robot and Sutton, Josh Cook goes third. Hill down a fourth. Ingram goes second. Tom Ingram, Josh Cook, Ash Sutton. Good enough, it is 21 0, 5 8, 6 tenths up. Chilton goes top, Cambridge goes second. Oh. A, a flyer of a lap, headlights on for Ingram now. That says, I am now on a proper qualifying effort. And then Huff goes back up to third, so he recovers. Camish is sixth. Chilton, who was so good in Q1 Group 2, uh, is now down to eighth as Ingram goes fastest on a 121-121. Ingram. <laughs> Tom Ingram is the quickest then in Q2. in him, definitely, because we've seen it as he locks up the rear wheel, but does still hit the apex. He's... So there is Ingram coming back down now towards Barcroft from the sunny approach. Another little puff of task mode. He's got Rob Huff behind him, who's also really charging. 
for second. Well, let's see. Sutton's had a lap time disallowed. Ingram goes third. So, Q3, top five. Colin Turkington for pole position. Dan Camish, second. Tom Ingram, third. Aaron Taylor-Smith, fourth. Rob Huff, fifth. And Ash Sutton rounding out the top six. We're still in front of Sutton. Yeah. Yeah. P3 just didn't come together. That's the, that's the jeopardy of this qualifying format. So it didn't really didn't seem to come together. So we um, either didn't have the pressures in or didn't have the temperatures right. Or there was something down this, on the circuit. We got a bit of oversteer through turn two. Yes. So aborted that lap. But by that time, we've only got time for one one push lap. So um, he was just kind of, I think it was half a tenth down in sector one, half a tenth down in sector two. And that, that was enough, really. That's the difference. Um, because by the time you've done two build laps that we end up having to do, yeah. we've taken the best out of the tyre. So I think there's a, there's a little bit of miss in there, but really happy with that. And being on the front row alongside a BMW is effectively second anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, of course I am. I'm not going to be disappointed with that, am I? Of course I'm not. Um, we're in good shape. You know, third is a lot better than we were here last year and we were still competitive. The car's feeling fantastic. It's feeling really, really good. Lacking a little bit of hybrid, but um, you know, even even the times we did in Q1 and Q2 wouldn't have been enough. I think I lost half a tenth from what I did in in uh, you know I'm only half a tenth slower than I did in, in Q1 and Q2, and I'm with P3. So I really am pleased with that. The Team Bristol Street Motors car is feeling absolutely phenomenal. It really, really is being an absolute joy to drive. It really is. P3. P3 in quality, yes. So, was it? I think we said P2, time for a brew. P3, time for a tea. P3, probably, need a wee. Um, that's not. That's protein shake. That's actually a clear way. Um, it was a very good qualifying session, I must say. Very good Q1. Very good Q2. Not perfect. A little bit bitty in Q3. Just a little bit of, like, just trying to link it all all together, to get four, as Ali G would say. And I think that was the, the trouble with it, is three times you have to perform, you look like a performing monkey, you just kind of go, right, stick a pound in him, go. Stick another pound in him, go. Stick another pound in him, go. Which is fine, that's all cool, but you cannot afford to make a mistake, and one mistake will be, will be you done. Now, when I went in to do my lap in Q3, I came into second corner there's a name for it and i can't remember what the name is called is it but is it is it it's, it's the second corner um and just as i got on the brakes and turned in i had a big old poof, big kick of oversight like somebody just pulled the handbrake up i was like oh that's that's not an ideal place to start not an ideal way to start a lap so i'll tell you what we'll write it off and we'll, we'll go for another lap nice and steady and then go again i think it just took a bit too much out the tires so i lost a little bit of performance however um, I was only about half a tenth off of what I did in Q1 and Q2, but it put me P3. Now, people say, are you disappointed with that? A little bit, but not really. I didn't actually expect to be fighting for the first two rows of it this weekend. I thought we'd be fifth or sixth. I honestly expected Ash to be pole. With the hybrid allocation that he had, that was Ash's that he should have been on pole, and we should have been playing catch-up with him. Incidentally, it wasn't. I expected to be back where Jake was. So... I'm really pleased to be where we are. It's a really, really good place. The car felt really good, like really, really good. So it's a really good place to be. I'll sleep very well this evening knowing we've got a good car under us. Under us. Um, and we will go again tomorrow and we'll be all cushy. We need to go down and, and see off the, um, the track walk. It was very good, thank you very much. Yeah, wonderful morning. Unfortunately, due to Motorsport UK guidelines, regulations and restrictions, I can't divulge what happens in a court of up there. However, we had a, we had a great chat. It's wonderful. I feel relieved. I feel... Morning, Steve. Morning, Steve. Um, so Steve, right? um, I feel relieved of pressure and stress and uh, worry and um, generally it was just a lovely chat with lovely people. Do you reckon this is, the, I mean, this is the sort of the inane content that people seem to really enjoy, just me chatting utter nonsense, isn't it? Um, feels good. Anyway, we're going down to um, 
the holding area because Dan Zalos is putting on a track walk this morning for Parkinson's, raising money for Parkinson's UK. So I thought I'd go down, it starts at nine. It is currently two minutes to nine. We should be there in about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, and we're gonna see them all off, weigh them off. Hope we have a nice walk. It's actually a very nice morning to do a walk in the sunshine. And then, uh, and then we'll go back and do our thing. Right. Yeah, thanks very much for coming, mate. Appreciate it. How's it gone? Yeah, Peter <laughs> yesterday, so uh, yeah. Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Thank you for attending this morning. As you know, we're going to be doing a track walk. You get to meet some of our drivers from the Mini Challenge. And obviously we have Tom here, which is going to wish you well on your track walk. Thank you, everybody. And um, feel free to ask any questions, whether they're racing related or not, to any of the drivers. Um, you know, try to do your worst. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Thanks again. Thank you, darling. You That's okay. I'm going to go to the end there and see everyone through, and then I'll have to get back. <laughs> See you in a bit, mate. Are you coming round? Mate? No, I've got to get back up. I've got a load of stuff to do in three minutes. So. Well, hope you do well, mate. Really thank do. You, mate. No, thank you very much I'm indeed. I'm for you this year. Cheers, boys. Thank you. And Toka personnel only. Unnecessary, isn't it? <laughs> You'll be pleased to hear that I I covered the microphone when I went for a wee. <laughs> I bring you gifts. Oh, really? How much of why, the... Uh, why, how much of the ooh, why do we deserve this? Because I'm a nice guy and I've decided to bring you gifts. Well, thank you very much. Is that okay? Yes, it is. See? I'm what a nice colours, guy. What colour is your favourite pastel? Orange. Yeah. What's yours? I said green. Green? Ooh, Green's green. a controversial one. Mm. Green is a controversial choice. <laughs> You're welcome, boys. Have a like good day. No, thank you. Race winning fuel? Yes, go on. Straight in for an orange one. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Oh my gosh, what are these? Soft ma- Thank you very much indeed. Of course. Bristol Street! How are we doing? What on earth was that? Oh, is this the t-shirt boomer? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I've had two bananas so far this morning. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I just chat rubbish, don't I? I just chat utter nonsense. Oh yeah, it follows me around everywhere I go. There's usually a man. Look, there we go. There's a man with a camera everywhere I go. Even when I go to the toilet. I went to the loo earlier on, and he was there. Everything for YouTube. Twenty-four-seven means all the time, apparently. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good. Are you okay? Yes, I'm, I'm marvellous. You guys look incredibly summery. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> I've been watching 24-7 after the last round. Thank you. Very, very well, thank you very much you indeed. Like, and the great news is you'll probably get it, because you've said nice things, we include people that say nice things. Anyone that slags it off, what we do is we get rid of them. Well, don't tell me, just kill them. Um, but it, it's being filmed here. This is Derwin. This is the legend that is Derwin. He's the man. He's the man that does the whole lot. He does the edit. He's like, who's the guy from Little Britain when he writes the theme tune, he sings the theme tune, he writes, he does everything. He is him. Perfect. Well, here he is. You've met him. Well, like thank you very much indeed. Well, thank you. <laughs> Considering Derwin does it, is what you're saying. Absolutely right. <laughs> It's just hooky on the hard tyre behind. Ash is soft. Taylor Smith's soft and everyone in front is soft. So I thought I should do a hard tyre. I'm really surprised at that. And to get part two of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship season underway. Yes, team. Ben Griffith getting two wheels on the grass as they pass their way down towards the Fairburn corner for the first time. Oh, 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 He did a 22.5, so he matched your lap time. He still has three laps remaining. He's not deployed yet. Stones at turn one, did you notice any stones? Sorry, did not this time, no. Final for the championship. Colin Turkington wins at Prop. 
Second, it is Tom Ingram. <laughs> Place, eighth podium of the year for Tom Ingram. Here comes Tingram, waves to the crowds over to the far end of the podium after a handshake with Dan Cam, a handshake with Aaron, and on to the second step of the podium goes Tingram. And Tingram, least the trophy high. Well done, Tom. Trophies, the photographs. Just look at that straight after your race. Explain. So this is, oh, this is Yuri. Yuri. <laughs> um, so it's whoop. 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 It's on whoop, your wrist. Whoop. It's just a whoop. Um, and then it just tracks everything. So you just wear it all the time and it tracks all the bits and pieces that are going on. So the amount of sleep you get, the recovery, your daily strain, and everything else like that. So normally like a, a daily strain max is usually about 20. Right. Um, so it was a 15.3 on race one. Um, but it's really interesting to then start looking at your heart rate and all sorts of bits and pieces like that. So you sit most of it in like zone four. Um, it's just it's just loading at the moment. It's just doing all of its working out. So you sit. So you'll have like a an average heart rate will probably sit at like about 160, 170 BPM average, and then you might peak up to like 180, 190. Um, so you spend, yeah, so 700 calories, average heart rate of 150, max heart rate 177 for 55 minutes worth of exertion. Um, yeah, that's kind of what it, and it sort of tells you all about that. But then it, it then factors in everything from your sleep to your daily strain. So it will tell you that obviously because you've had a higher strain today, you'll obviously need more recovery and more rest tonight. But then it will just try, it basically tries to create a triangle of sleep, of strain and of recovery and it's obviously always trying to get those to line up so if you've had more strain then obviously you need more recovery and then in turn so more sleep so it basically is always just trying to triangulate and just work out that if something's there it needs something something else and you just work it backwards so you can then start to know your your exertion how much energy you've got how you're feeling where your heart rate is and just basically how to train where to train and all those bits and pieces Really do think you really take it seriously? I, I do, yeah. As much as I joke about just eating <laughs> sweets and that sort of stuff, and all these, all these sweets behind all these here. Sweets. Um, <laughs> I take it seriously. It's there my job. Go. It's my job, isn't it? Oh, I want to win. So leading the championship now. It would appear we are. Yes, that's a that's a good observation. That is. <laughs> so we are leading the championship after race one at Croft. So we'll see what happens after race two at Croft, and then we'll see what happens after race three at Croft. We shall see. Yeah. Right, may I have a good one? Okay. How good a start can he make? It's a perfect getaway. Turkey to last clear, then down towards Clarabo. He's already pulled about two lengths so over Ingram, who is second. Here he comes to the outside up towards the tower. Ingram levels with Turkington, goes ahead of Turkington. Goes round the outside, contact is sideways. The door is open for Turkington to fight back, but Ingram has done it. The yeah. It's become the leading Corolla because Rob Huff up the inside goes through. Yeah, Ingram was not going to fight that, there was no point. It was alright. So it's a weird to have a race just going backwards the whole time. Yeah, it, was I'm it was always painful, just watching you. Yeah, so I'm constantly telling him, who's next to overtake you? <laughs> yeah. The next person is Rob Move out of this one, move out of this guy's way. <laughs> Don't lose any time, we're laying past. So, uh... Well, sat.
this is a chance to hear from the drivers and I will be coming out to you guys for a couple of questions. Uh, they do have to go be racing drivers again, so we'll have a limited amount of time, but we'll see how we get on. Tom, we'll come on to you. Um, your weekend's been pretty good, pretty pointsy uh, today. I know, we're bringing it back. It's not been mentioned as much this year, I feel. No, I mean, the t-shirts are still selling very well, though. Oh. Uh, if you haven't purchased your pointy t-shirt, they're available at tinglemerch.com or just at the Tingle Merch trade stand. There we go, which is right next to the fans. Which is conveniently just next to the fans. So, yeah, it's just, just there. <laughs> Right then, I'll leave you to it. Let's stuck in, mate. Hey, round 18 is go. Good getaway then from pole by Chilton. What a start! What a start! <laughs> has Sutton and Ingram lean on each other and again Ingram eases through, they both go wide, the door is open, here comes Cammy, she gets past one. And there again Turkington comes up to have a go, this time on the outside going through the right hand of Tower, but everything. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? He's going right round the outside, they're both off the circuit. Turkington trying to close the door, there's contact, the high speed Turkington's off, he's gonna hit the wall. He is oh. indeed. Oh. Race three honours go to Tom Chilton here at Croft. He wins. Second across the line is Dan Camish. Tom Ingram takes third. For the oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Accelerate motors for podium of the year for a three time winner. Big smile on his face. Yeah. Celebrate. That's your podium for round 18. <laughs> You know what time it is? It's pants o'clock time. Oh. It's not pants o'clock time. Do you mind if I pack away whilst yeah, we have I'll a chit and, whilst we have a chit in the chat? I'm gonna move the world's heaviest box of sweets. Tom Chilton won! Tom Chilton won. Tom Chilton won. Tom Chilton won. Brilliant. I'm genuinely pleased. I'm not I'm, I'm actually yeah. not putting this on. I am genuinely absolutely so thrilled so for him. Um, it's brilliant. I'm so I'm so pleased he's done it. He so quick yesterday, wasn't it? He yeah. deserved it because he was outrageously fast. He deserved to be better than he than he got in qualifying realistically. But he just drove blooming well. I had a had a pep talk with him before the race. Got him all got him all pumped up. Drove really well. He drove really really well. So it was uh, no, it's nice to see. From our side, that last race, brilliant. Your, your rocket start, mate. That start. What? What was that start all about? It was the fairy dust on your top, that's what it was. Um, yeah, that start was outrageous. That's probably the best start I've ever done in my life ever. Um, just hooked up and went. I was gobsmacked by it. Um, just hooked up and away we went. So yeah, really, really good start. Um, so we'd got Ash off the line and I'd got Dan Cam off the line as well. So after that, it was, a, it was just a sort of case to see how the race pans out. Colin and I, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Colin and I had a bit of a bit of a bit of a coming together. It's difficult in that because at that point of the lap, I don't know what we're. It's a horrible part of the. It's a horrible part of the lap to trip over each other because there's only so many places you can really go to try and avoid it. So, Colin's got to the left, to the inside of me for the first part, so the left hand side, not given me. It's given me enough for him, but only just. So I'm kind of on on his inside for the right, but suit like. He's given me enough room, but to the millimetre. Mm. So we've got through there. Both of us have then ran wide on the exit. And then as we come up to Barcroft, he's then used his hybrid again to try and clear me, but hasn't cleared me. So then at that point, he's then come across, which has caught me, which has then pushed me on the grass. Mm. And we've made contact. But one of, one of us has got to back out. 
neither of us wanted to. Should Colin, should Colin have been on my outside? No. Is it an overtaking move? No. Um, uh, at that point, it, you know, there was not a lot I could I could particularly do. So, unfortunately, the nature of that part of the lap, when you trip over each other, that's what happens. But mega weekend. Weekend was amazing. Really good weekend. But another one. Uh, what have I got to? I'll tell you what I'll do it with. Minana. So that's that's Croft race weekend. Croft race weekend. Romeo done.